Welcome back. We are going to uh, continue our discussion of how to use uh, graphics, annotation charts uh, to make your uh, workbook easier to use. And, uh, and some of these graphical elements can uh, really be a big help in understanding and, and uh, conveying the information on, on your workbook. And so in our last video, uh, we reviewed the drawing tools and we created this little drawing right here. And in this exercise, we're going to create some equations. Now there is an equation editor built into Microsoft Excel. Uh, it's very powerful. And I've already created a few equations here. And you can just click on them and uh, it pops up the uh, equation editor tool. And so they're very easy to modify once you've created them. You can also use the, the font, uh, increase font size, decrease font size to, to change how big these are. Um, and so uh, really easy to use. So how do you create a, an equation from scratch? Um, I'm going to pop up the original version of this. So... So we want to create this equation, r equals v squared sine 2 alpha over g. So the way we do that is you go to the insert menu and go to the very end under symbols. There's an equation. And once you do that, it creates this uh, placeholder for your equation. And it pops you into the equation editor. There's a new one of these temporary tabs that pop up. And um, and now we can start uh, doing our equation. Again, we're going to do r equals uh, v squared sine 2 alpha over g. So I just start typing r equals. And now uh, we need to create a fraction. And so the way this works is whenever you need to introduce a new element into your equation, you just come up here. Uh, here are fractions. Here are various kind of subscript, superscript things. Here are some radicals, like a square root element. Um, you can do summations and integrals here. Um, and same thing here. Uh, you can also do brackets. And uh, why not just type out the brackets? Well, the brackets here will uh, resize based on what you're putting inside them. So they're smart brackets. And, uh, you know, trigonometric functions, limits, um, let's see, different kinds of operators, and, uh, and matrices if you want to have something in a grid and have it spaced out uh, just right. And so, um, and then over here we have a number of different kinds of symbols we can use. But what we want now is we want just a simple fraction. And when I do that, it creates a, a placeholder for a numerator and a denominator. So I'm going to click in the numerator. And now we want to do v squared. So to do that, we come up here and select this first item, with this, uh, an item with a superscript. And I click here, and I type v. And I click here, and I type 2. Now we have v squared. Now I want to get down to the right of that. So if I keep typing, it's going to keep it in the in the exponent, but I want to go back one level. So I hit the right arrow key on my keyboard and that puts me down here. So now if I start typing it will it will just go at that same level as the V. You'll notice as I do that it, it automatically resizes that uh, the line of my fraction uh, to fit the content. That's one of the really nice things about this. Uh, it's very smart. Now I can just type sign whatever or if you want, you can use the trig function option here. And that gives us a sign. And this is 2 alpha now. But if I want to use brackets here, um, I can go up here and, and enter the brackets. And again, the reason you do brackets is uh, just, just suppose for the sake of argument, you wanted to do a fraction in here. You'll notice when I insert that fraction, it increases the the size of the brackets automatically. Um, but we don't we don't have a fraction. We're just going to do 2 times alpha. So I'm going to do 2 
And then to do alpha, um, you come up here and uh, pop this down. And this shows the, the Greek characters right here. And just click the one you want. Finally, I click in the denominator and type G. And uh, we're done. Um, so I'm just going to click outside here for a second. And uh, yeah, if I want to edit it again, I just click inside there and start typing. And uh, it's simple as that. I have an equation. If I want to, again, change the size, I can go up here and increase or decrease the font size. Uh, you can change the font color if you'd like. Uh, for some reason, you want it to show up in a different color. Um, all those editing options are still available. You can do bold. Uh, you can get rid of the, it, it, by default, it makes them italicized. And yeah, very powerful tool. Uh, let's do another one. Uh, how about uh, y equals v sine alpha ti minus one half g ti squared. That one looks pretty easy. So again, I'm going to do insert equation. Pull this down here and type y equals v. Now, you can also just type sine like that. And then you can, if you're really lazy, you can just type your own brackets. If it's just going to be one character high, you should be fine. Alpha. Now, I want to do ti. So I'm going to select the uh, uh, subscript option. And so we'll do t and then lower and then down in the subscript, we'll do i. Uh, minus, now we need a fraction, and we'll say one half, right arrow key to get me back up to the main level, G, and then for T squared, we do the superscript. Uh, actually, hang on a second, this should be TI squared. So inside here, I'm going to do a uh, subscript, and this will be uh, T i squared just like that and there you have it um again once you get the hang of this you can knock out these equations uh really quickly um, and then a few other things to mention um you know let's let's play with the let's play with some others here um let me scroll down a little bit make a little room here for some equations. Uh, so let's suppose I want to do a, a matrix. You know, I want to do a, uh, let's do a four by four matrix. Now I could go in here and insert, uh, you know, a separate equation here. I could do the square root of um, some fraction x over um, I'm just making stuff up here. Uh, C I, for example. And, you know, inside each of these, you can put something. Let's suppose we want to put an integral here. The integral from 0 to 8 of, um, let's say, uh, uh, x squared y uh, dx or something like that and so on and so forth um, so you just again just insert the elements you want uh, grab the Greek symbols or the special symbols from here if you need them and uh, works like a charm um, so yeah don't hesitate to uh, insert equations on your in your spreadsheet Again, this, the same tools are available in Microsoft Office and Microsoft Word. And this is a, a, a really good uh, skill to master. It just takes a few minutes and you'll get the hang of it.